Hey students, your favorite art teacher here with another really cool project for you to do with your favorite things, chalk pastels. Today, I'm gonna do another winter project that a lot of different grade levels can do. And it's kind of like a winter snapshot, like you're looking through a magical portal to somebody else's house besides Florida. Cause when I look outside my window, I'm not seeing any snow. I'm seeing palm trees and kids running around in shorts and sneakers on their bikes, people going swimming, and I'm not seeing a lot of big coats and snowmen and snowflakes and people drinking hot cocoa. Must be nice. But this is a way for you to make a really cool winter project and bring a little bit of that winter feel into your house. So you're gonna be picking your favorite color of chalk pastel. So any color you want, I'm gonna go with maybe this light blue today. And you're gonna draw a window shape. And I like to go with an oval and uh, just make it really big. So I'm gonna show you how big I do my oval and then what we do with it. So this is your viewfinder kind of. Your magical portal Everything inside your picture is gonna be in this oval. So you can see how big I did mine. I'm gonna trace over that at least two times, maybe even three. And then I'm gonna color the edges. Almost all the way to the edge. It's okay if you go off the page a little bit and I'm making it kind of streaky all the way around. This needs to be done with chalk pastel. I mean, it could work with oil, but you're gonna see why chalk works a little bit better. Even though it is messier, it's going to mix and give us that kind of soft, magical look we're going for. So that was all light blue. Now I'm gonna challenge you to pick another really awesome color that you love that's gonna mix really nicely with the first color. So if I'm looking at the color wheel, I know that right across the street from blue is orange. And I know that if I try to use orange with blue, it's not gonna mix nice. They're two opposite. And then if I make two opposite colors together, I get brown, because they're complementary. They look nice when I draw them next to each other, but if I'm mixing orange paint and blue paint, Ooh, no, it's not gonna be a good thing. So I'm gonna pick something that's right next to blue on the color wheel. So if you look at your color wheel, you should know that on one side of blue is what? Hopefully you said green or purple. So I've got both of those. And for me, I'm gonna stick with purple because it's one of my favorite colors. So I'm gonna use a little bit of purple as well around the edges, not a ton, but the same direction starting from my oval shape going out towards the edge. This is gonna be your glow. So you're going to need a tissue next. We use regular tissues, not a paper towel. You could use a paper towel, but tissues are a little bit softer with chalk pastel. And you're just going to lightly pull the colors out towards the side and go back and forth You don't want to go side to side. You want the blending to be the same direction. And you're not trying to wipe away the color. You're trying to fill in the space. And I'm even going to go around the shape just one time. And just give it a nice soft glow. Now you're going to need your white because this is where we're drawing our snowy scene. And that's pretty much the only color you're gonna use after this, is just white. So here's my little window into my snowy world with my favorite colors on the edge. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw a big straight line because I want my snow to be flat. Everything under this is going to be white. So I'm gonna fill that in. You can use a clean finger or a clean side of your tissue to fill in any of those gaps the white might not have filled in. Try not to mix your colors together that you had 
on your little window and I'm gonna draw trees. Now, if you've seen the other videos, you know I usually start oops, with some straight lines. And then for the actual branches, my lines are angled out. So it has a very arrow or feather shape. So it's just you and some trees. Now, if you wanted to draw something else you might see in the snow, like a little cute snowman, that'd be pretty cool. But I'm gonna stick it with trees, keep it simple. And I like to do different sizes, it's totally up to you. You wanna blend them a little bit, fill in a space, you can. I had room for about four. I would say three, four, or five is a good number. <laughs> if you'd like to do a moon in your sky, that could look really cool. I'm gonna do a crescent moon in mine. <laughs> and then maybe, of course, some little stars. And then you've got a really cool very interesting winter scene and it only takes you like five to ten minutes this is a project you could definitely do in one day remember just white on the inside it's going to make the colors that you chose to do your window with really pop i hope you enjoyed this project and i'll see you guys when i get back